Hey Jock. Okay, can we just say that you are just beautiful inside and out? Thank you. It's so good for my ego. Oh darling. <laughs> So we are at Dr. Baba's Aesthetics and we are with the incredible Dr. Fatima and you know we say you look good and you feel good and it shows. So we are starting Samia's skincare journey at um, Dr. Baba's Aesthetics and Dr. Fatima is going to talk us through everything that we need to know about Samia's skin. As you know, she's in matric, so she's, you know, been struggling. Lots of stress. Lots of stress. Okay. Lots of stress. So let's talk about it, Doc. How are we going to take this further and give her that good glowing skin? So there's a few things. So at this age, it's hormones, mm -hmm. it's oil, it's stress. Um, it's what you eat, but I know Samia eats very well, so that we've eliminated. Mm -hmm. um, she's also exercising, which is good, right? So now we've got the three things, which is the hormones, the oil, and the stress. So there's a few things. I always say that you only see your doctor once a month, so whatever you put on your face is every day. So we're going to treat Samia in, outside and in. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put her on... Um, uh, oral retinoic acid okay. which is um, we all know what it is we can't take the name yes. so she's going to be on that um, and that's just going to help us with the blackheads and the oil in Samia's skin mm -hmm. which is something she's been struggling with yeah but we're not putting her on a high treatment dose reason being is you do get moodiness it can cause a, a bit of emotional upset oh and the teenagers already have that. correct and <laughs> also she's in matric so she can't afford to have that right now correct so we're putting her on a low dose so that she can take it for a longer period of time right so now we discussed this mm -hmm. so she's going to do it like monday thursday or saturday wednesday something like that perfect then we're going to put her on a good skincare regimen very mild so it's not going to dry her skin out it's going to help with hydration um, it's going to help with the oily tea patch that she has mm -hmm. and also going to help us so that if she gets a pimple we don't get the scarring because that's mm -hmm. the most important thing at this age we can't prevent pimples so when they menstruate mm -hmm. or they severely stressed we will get see like Simi has got a, a few now yeah they do come up mm -hmm. um and so we just prevent them from scarring. So we don't want her to end up with acne scars yes. when she's older. Yes. Because dad didn't know much, Shane. <laughs> <laughs> most of his, you yeah. know, most, most, but the thing is, is this is actually quite amazing. Whether the parents have or not have acne, mm -hmm. most kids at this age will have some sort of acne. Mm -hmm. It's the puberty, it's the change of the hormones, and it's the stress. Matric is one of the most sure. stressful years. Sure. Um, and then the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to do treatment for Samia because you can't have um, products at home, you're taking the oral tablets, so we're doing the inside, we're doing the creams and we're not doing treatment. So it all works, works hand together. Hand. Correct. So you and need to do correct information. 100%. But having said that, um, people should understand it's not that Samia is going to be here every day. It's once every month, it's every six weeks. Um, so you know we also need her skin to recuperate at home and to, to rebuild itself um, another big thing I'm a very big believer I don't say things like you need six peels you need five lasers you need uh, seven PRPs mm -hmm. skin rejuvenates at different stages mm -hmm. so we did a laser last week and I wanted to do something today but when I'm looking at her skin now I feel like it's not ready it's yeah. still a bit inflamed mm -hmm. so we're gonna give it another five or six days and we're only going to do the next treatment in 10 days so 10 days from her last treatment perfect and then we're going to go on to a once every four to six weeks so that we give her skin time to rejuvenate and that's really pretty much it um it's it's not actually as easy as it sounds but if you have a good compliant patient which samia has promised to be and you do your treatments mm -hmm. um <laughs> I think you can all get a good response. And also, Doc, what's important is having people like you to guide because it's not a one size fits all. No, it's not a one. So even the products we've chosen for Samia are, are for her. And strategically and chosen. And strategically chosen mm. for her. Also, the treatments that we've chosen. So what, for example, if I have a 30-year-old with acne, I will not give them the same treatment plan as I would give her. Uh -huh. Her skin is young. Um, it needs a bit more okay. you know we need to be 
the her skin is more forgiving more oh, naturally more, yes mm. so we also need to be more gentle mm. with her skin she's young um we don't want to just put in anything um more sort of a conservative approach awesome well we are so excited thank <laughs> you we are in good hands yay. yay thanks dr fatima well we'll see you guys soon thanks for watching